Hi, this is Barrett from Rhinestone Alphabets, and you're looking at uh, the three fonts that I have up on the website as a deal of the day. There's the Universal Slim, and the Teeny Tiny font, and then also the Double Line Serene. Now if you notice, the two top ones have upper and lower case letters, but the bottom one, the Teeny Tiny, has two different sizes of the uppercase alphabet in a real tiny font. Now I'm going to show you a couple uh, easy ways to use these fonts and show you how versatile that they are. If we look at uh, this word here, this is the word championship and I use the universal slim font. Now there's a couple ways that you can size these fonts. First you can go up to the point value and you can put in a correct value and it's going to bring it to approximately the right size for cutting. Now remember with uh, Corel and with Silhouette you're going to be using a conversion chart if you go the point, uh, the point route and all you do is you go into my conversion chart that's on the website and uh, you're going to look up Universal Slim and for SS10 you're going to go right to the green column and you're going to see 144 points. So go ahead and if you put that into the box up here and hit enter, that is now pretty much size for SS10 stones. Now another way that you can size it, and this is way easy, is using the uh, stone sizer that uh, Joseph from Synergy 17 invented. Now with this particular little program, which is very inexpensive, all you have to do is in the drop down pick your stone size that you're working with. So if you're making a template for SS10 stones, you would hit the SS10 button in this. And then all you have to do is hit uh, resize the font and it immediately sizes it and each circle is already put um, into ready to cut mode. So that would be a second way. Now because this font has such a great line to it and it's relatively small you can actually use it in a fairly large word. So this is all caps and I'm gonna put that on a curve and let's just take a look at how this ends up turning out. Break your text apart and delete that. Now the last step I'm gonna do is go ahead and resize it. And believe it or not, what you're coming up with is a nine inch design, which is absolutely perfect for most shirts. So there's your design and it's pretty much all set ready to go. Now let's take a look real quick at the teeny tiny font because um, this has two different sizes and I want to show you the difference. So if we look at the first um, the first word here, football, and you go ahead and size it with the SS10. Again, it sizes at 64 points up in the size chart, but um, we'll go ahead and size that, and we're going to come up with a font that's 0 .688, and it's 3.9 inches. Now let's go back a step, and let's convert that to all lowercase change the case in it and do it one more time and this time we've got a font that is 0.54 inches and 3.4 total and again uh, super easy to work with and then the last one of course is the double line serene which is an awesome looking font now, I uh, hope that helps you out, and if you have any questions regarding the deal of the day, just let me know. Happy to help.